I, I think one of the challenges that business owners don't really understand sales. They think sales is this big black hole, and what happens is that a, a lot of VPs of sales or heads of sales, they give all these great stories and excuses to their CEO saying, hey, listen, you know, we're gonna do this next quarter, this next quarter, and this next quarter, and they go away and do their thing, and they come back, and nothing gets accomplished, and they wind up giving more stories to their CEO, and nothing ever gets done. Um, I think what sales leaders don't really have their heads wrapped around is the idea of coaching and mentoring. You know, statistics say that you should be spending 50% of your time as a leader of an organization, you're spending it uh, as a coach, helping them understand things that they're going through and help them to solve their problems by asking pointed questions, and also motivating them. And you can't motivate people until you understand what motivates them. And the other part about it is accountability. Is that, you know, accountability is a big thing. You know, and as, as a business owner, you have to always make sure that your team is held accountable to each other and you're accountable to your team. And the last one is recruiting. So if you're not always looking for new, fresh perspectives to help you build your business, you're gonna wind up being left behind and stale and not keeping up with the trends and not growing your company geometrically. So what I've done is over the past 12 years put together a process of taking motivation and recruiting and accountability and coaching and put it into a process that are actionable and you can execute it on day one. So when I understand what an organization is going through, I really try to understand what the problem is. You know, that you have to, you can't, you, you can't, you can't solve a problem until you di diagnose what the problem is. So we'll go through a process of discovery and understanding what the biggest problems are we want to solve. I mean, I have customers come to me and say, listen, Anthony, I, I think I got a, uh, a sales problem. Great. Well, I don't know what that means, so why don't we find out what the sales, particular sales problem is? Is it a coaching issue? Is it an accountability issue? Is it a recruiting issue? Is it a motivation issue? Is it a product issue? So we go through a, a pretty specific, detailed process of asking questions. We pull those questions out, and then we map out what the problems are, and then we put them in a priority and present it to the customer, and we give the customer the opportunity to um, potentially hire us to solve those problems. And then the last part about it is we have an ongoing coaching business. You know, everyone needs a coach. You know, if you think about it, the most successful athletes on the planet, from Kobe Bryant to um, LeBron James to even Tiger Woods, they all have coaches. And if you want to be the best that you are, whether you're in the DJ business, you're in the solar business, you're in the plumbing business, if you're in the coaching business, or you're in the real estate business, you have to have a coach help keep you on point, help you fine tune your skills, but also push you outside your comfort zone because everything happens outside the comfort zone. I think the biggest challenge is they don't really understand what the problem they're trying to solve is. I find that um, you know, the average business that opens up today is gonna be out of business in 18 months. I mean, statistics tell you 90% um, of businesses fail in the first 18 months and most of them fail in the first five years because they don't, they don't make money. And the reason why they don't make money is they don't know what problem they're solving. I mean, whether you're a coach, whether you're in the solar business, whether you're a DJ, a plumber, a real estate uh, person, if you don't understand the problem you're solving, you're not gonna be able to make money. So business owners really have to kind of wrap their heads around what is it they do. You have to ask yourself these questions. What business are you in? What business are you really in? And are you innovating? And are you looking at technology and how to grow your business? And if you don't look at those things on a regular basis, and I'm talking literally on a quarter by quarter basis, you're just gonna be left behind. I mean, with the advent of technology, I mean, think about it. I mean, you have you know, two billion people on Facebook. You have you know, billions of people on Instagram. If you're not actively working along with the 500 million people that are on LinkedIn and reaching out and asking questions about what are some of the challenges your customers face, then you're, just, you're gonna be out of business. You know, I work, with a, I work with a customer right now who's in the, uh, the solar energy business. And they say to me, Anthony, I, I can't seem to, um, I need to get more leads. I need to get more qualified leads. And, other than me saying, hey, listen, let's train your sales team on how to pick up the phone call and make calls to customers and start building your own leads, your problem is solved. And I think a lot of, a lot of business owners haven't been able to kind of wrap their heads around it. They're so busy trying to sell and they're not busy asking questions and really solving customers' big issues. Hey, my name is Anthony Conklin. I'm the CEO and founder of the AJC Group. You know, most companies have a hard time wrapping their heads around sales. Most sales leaders are not good coaches. They really don't know how to motivate. They're inconsistently trying to keep their team accountable, and they're not spending enough time recruiting for great talent. And sales organizations, specifically sales reps and sales leaders, 
just don't have the confidence to pick up the phone, make the phone call, and actually schedule the meeting. Over the past 12 years, I've been able to put a process together. It's an actual blueprint that helps sales leaders become better coaches, better motivators, also to become better accountability partners, recruit the right staff, but also give the sales team the confidence, the true strength and confidence they need to pick up the phone and reach out to their ideal customer. So you, as leader of the organization, know that your company is like a well-running machine. That's my pitch. <laughs>